Hello, hello everybody. My name is Tanya Edwards. I will wait a few minutes for people to join. Welcome Juanita, thank you for joining. Um, welcome Lisa, thank you for joining. If you guys can go ahead and click the little man at the bottom and please invite your followers. Welcome Miss, is it Balasan? Um, thank you for joining. Please invite your followers and I would love if Missy, thank you. Welcome Missy. Um, if you guys would go ahead and tap the screen to give hearts, I really would appreciate it. Um, welcome Misha. Thank you for joining. And if you guys notice my topic for tonight is how to dominate in your business industry. Let me tell you a little bit about myself and who I am. Um, I'm Tanya Edwards. I am the owner of Excellent Kids Early Learning Center, but I'm also a business startup success coach and a business strategist. Basically, I own a company that manages other small businesses. Right now, I have 13 companies that I'm managing um, and helping them to grow to be profitable businesses. Some of them are solopreneur businesses and some of them are established businesses. So that's just a little bit about me. And today what I want to talk to you guys about or tonight what I want to talk about is something that we all wish to accomplish, we all hope to achieve. Um, everybody wants to be the best in their industry regardless of whether it's a MLM business or it's a brick and mortar, or it's an online business, or childcare, whatever the case may be, we all should be striving to be the best in your industry. So how exactly do you accomplish dominating in your business industry? Um, go ahead and say me if you ever feel like you're just a little peon in whatever business you're in. And if you could, let me know what type of business you guys are doing. Um, that would be very helpful for me as I'm talking to you all. But one of the things, um, yes, fitness and nutrition, that is an amazing business. And let me tell you, fitness and nutrition is so hot right now. Um, you really, really could just you don't even have to take over the world, but you could take over a, a niche of that industry. Um, so that's good. And for me, I know I'm in childcare, like I said, and also in other, yeah, I can under, I can imagine that is tough. Um, and we can talk about that. I may do a scope on trying to figure out exactly where you want to kind of hone in and zero in and place your attention. So I may do another scope about that later during the week. But tonight, um, I'm going to talk about dominating. And one of the things um, I overheard a couple as I was out for lunch earlier today, and they were talking about their business. It's so funny how many entrepreneurs we have just around us constantly, and you never know. But if you're an entrepreneur and you have the liberty of going out during the day, usually the people that are having lunch at whatever time they want to, they probably work for themselves. So one of the main things that... Um, that helps us to dominate in our industry is what we, it's an age old thing and it's called duplication. Now, what do I mean by duplication? If you've ever worked in any type of MLM business or you've ever worked for any type of formed company where there was already an infrastructure, then you should be familiar with duplication. And what that means is there is a system in place and that system in place is something that you guys are trained on when you go through your initial training and it's something that the company expects you to follow. Why do you think they would expect you to follow this? And I talked about this a few scopes back and I know they're not accessible anymore, but we want to try to refrain from reinventing the wheel. What do I mean by reinventing the wheel? If it's not broken, don't try to fix it. If you're in a business industry 
and it's not something brand spanking new that you have come up with, that you have developed. It's new to the world. There's probably already some type of in infrastructure in place that you can follow. And if you look at the top of the company, um, you know, there's always a pecking order. If you follow the top of the pecking order and find the people who are really progressing the people who have really made it i can almost guarantee you they followed one thing welcome ac to sweet they followed the structure so we want to make sure that we duplicate things if you're duplicating there's no room for failure now let me give you an example of how duplication can work in your favor and how a lack of duplication can destroy your business if you've ever heard of the old game, it's probably been used as an icebreaker if you've been to any types of events, but it's called telephone. Save me if you've ever heard of this game telephone. And what I'll do is I'll tell you about it. Telephone is when you have a group of people that are in a room and let me have a pen, please. My daughter is here with me. She's watching me scope. Um, I'm, hi daughter. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys a little quick um, diagram for how telephone works and how duplication works. So let's just say, and I'm drawing out this diagram for you. Okay, so I hope you guys can see this. I hope the glare is not too bad. But here's the teacher in the group, and that's you. You're the business owner. You're the entrepreneur. You have to leave the lights on, please. Um, the rest of this is your team. It's your class. It's the people that you're trying to teach about your business. Now, let's say your teacher goes over to this person and whispers in that person's ear and says, meet me outside at one o'clock. We're going to do our homework under the tree. And then the teacher says, go ahead and pass the message on to your neighbor. So then this person passes the message on passes the message on somewhere right about here, the message will change, okay? Somewhere right about here, the message will totally change. When the message gets here and the t this person goes back to the teacher and tells the teacher what the message was, now the message says, meet me in the hallway, we're not having homework today. What's the problem with this system. It's a lack of duplication. There's no way to just simply train by word of mouth. There's no way to train by just talking and everybody's taking their own individual notes and everybody's doing what they want to do in the company. The way that you do it is to have a written plan of action, have a written strategy, and pass that strategy along. Now, why do we want to do this? Because the message is the exact same and it all came from the head. So if you're over a team, if you're the boss, if you're the CEO, it's your responsibility and it's your job to lay out the infrastructure, lay out the script, lay out the plan for everybody who comes behind you to follow. And not only lay it out, but to teach it and assure that your employees have it 100%, they're not swaying from it. Everybody doesn't come in and do what they want to do. And if you've joined a company, it's your job to follow the script. Why do I say follow the script? You have to follow the leader because the leader is the leader for a reason. They didn't just walk in and say, hey, I'm the leader, I'm the leader. No, they've worked, they've earned their way up, and that's what made them the leader. And this is so familiar for me with a lot of my clients. We, they come in, they're starting new businesses, and they instantly, just like that, think tomorrow they're going to have the top company. It doesn't work like that. So one way that you dominate in your business is making sure that you duplicate and you have infrastructure and you have a strategy in place and you follow those things. If you're starting a new business, lay out your plan step for step. If you have a business where you have to contact clients, follow the script. If you don't have a script to follow, create a script and follow it. And that's how you train your team. If you've joined an MLM, talk to your upline and find out what is the script. 
If you have a child care facility, teach and train all of your teachers to follow the script. Everybody should know exactly what to do. Let me give you another example. I was touring daycare centers because I'm getting ready to open a, another center. In the process of me touring, I went to one, I will say a five-star center. Perfect. Everything was implemented from start to finish. There were no glitches. There wasn't any headache. Everybody knew exactly what they were supposed to do. The teachers greeted me. If I really needed childcare, welcome Pamela. If I really needed childcare, I would have paid that day and enrolled my kids. I was so impressed. I went to another center. There was no system in place. The director wasn't there. The teachers didn't speak. They never greeted me. I stood in the front waiting for a while. Nobody came forward and said anything. And I instantly started to think about all the trainings that I've conducted and all the training that I've had. And I said, you know, this is why this business only has about 60 kids. And the other center who had a smaller facility had like 300 children and a waiting list. It was so interesting to me. And I said, there's no system in place here. And I guarantee if they get some type of system, train their teachers to duplicate the system, their enrollment would increase like that. If you're in an MLM and you have a system that you're not following, I guarantee you're not making any money. So if you want to dominate in your business, follow the system. If there's no system, create a system. Be innovative. Thank you guys so much for the love. And go ahead and click the little man and invite your followers. I really love to have more people to join the conversation. Okay, so the second thing I want to talk about to dominate in your business industry is how you feel and how you perceive things. Welcome, Misha. Oh, thank you for inviting followers. Yes, um, how you feel and how you perceive things. Listen, this is very, very major in, welcome Siobhan, this is very major in business, especially if you're the head of your business. If you're a CEO, you're the boss, you're the entrepreneur, the way you feel and the way you see things is how the rest of your team and your organization will see things and how they will feel. So if you're having a bad day, leave your bad day at home when you go to work. There is absolutely no reason that you should take it to work with you. What, what do I mean by this? Have you guys ever met the person that when they walk in the room, you can tell there's something wrong? If you've met that person, say me. Now, I have met this person several times over in different jobs, in different businesses, even heads of companies. I have met that person and there's such a turnoff. You don't want to be around them. You don't want to do business with them. You don't want to even talk to them. You don't want to be that type of person in your business industry and you really don't want to team up with that type of person because they're a reflection of your business. So what I'm saying is how you feel is how the company looks. You represent your company every day. There have been times where I promise you it has been hell and high waters for me to get out of my home in the morning dealing with my children and I have three of them a 12 year old a nine year old and a five year old fights break out you pushed me he hit me he's touching me she looked at me don't do this don't do that they can't find their shoes their socks they forgot to brush their teeth but guess what as soon as they leave and go to school I take me about five minutes I get myself together I put on the happy face and I tend to business because we have to get out here and hustle and do what it takes to dominate. I cannot go to my client and say, oh, I'm having a bad day. My kids were totally chaotic this morning. That's not going to fly. It's not going to fly. And they may listen for a minute or two, but at some point, what does that have to do with them? They're there for business and you're there to run and operate your business. So we want to pay, pay attention to our feelings and the feelings that we project and portray onto other people. Perception, how you perceive things. Now let's think about this. If you've met that negative person who says, I'm never going to get out of here. I hate this job. 
I don't want to be here. I'm not going to get promoted. My company is not going to grow. I won't even be able to recruit anybody. Nobody's joining my team. Guess what? Your perception is skewed. That's not the way to dominate in your business. The way you dominate in your business is to think big. As a man think it, so is he. Welcome again, Missy. Um, as a man think it, so is he. The way you see things, if you have a gloomy outlook, you have a gloomy business. If you have um, an exciting outlook, business is going to be exciting. When you wake up in the morning or when you jump up and you're ready to go to work, regardless of what time it is, if you say, I'm going to have a bad day, it's probably going to happen. But if you get up telling yourself, I'm going to have a great day, I'm going to get this number of clients, I'm going to earn this amount of money, guess what? That's going to happen because you're speaking things into existence. You're, you're drawing things to you. You're drawing people to you. People can feel your energy. If you work with children, you should be very familiar with this. Or if you have children, you should be very familiar with this. They feel your energy. As mom, I know when my kids can tell that I'm having a bad day. So sometimes I have to put on the happy face and say, it's good. I open my arms up wide to my sons and my daughter just so they can come in and give me a hug because that makes their day good. So sometimes we have to remember that you may not physically want to embrace somebody, but if you can, do that. You never know how you bless somebody's day and you never realize how much that's growing your business. It's helping you dominate because guess what? If that person is feeling good, welcome, honey bear. Thank you for joining us. Tap the man at the bottom and go ahead and invite your followers. If that person is feeling good, then they're going to put out good work. But if you have a nasty disposition about yourself and a horrible attitude about yourself, guess what? You're ruining the next person's attitude and their disposition and they feed off of you. And now they're treating the kids wrong. They're treating their other coworkers wrong. They're treating their the parents wrong. If you have a, a business... For instance, somebody said they're in health and fitness. If you're training a client and you have a horrible time and you're having a horrible day and you're talking to your client in an ugly manner, they don't want to train with you. They'll go and find another trainer who may be having a horrible day, but they don't even know it. They're still there telling them, give me one more. Give me 10 more. You can do this. You're looking good. I like the way you're doing that. That's the type of person that you want to have around you. So the way you perceive things is how it is. Yes, yes, you really do. Thank you so much for your comment. But this is what I wanted to tell you guys. So here's the next thing we want to talk about in dominating in your business industry. We've talked about duplication. And remember, I showed you guys the telephone game. We've talked about feelings and how your company and how your your parents and your children and your clients will feel the way you feel, how you're projecting that onto them. We've talked about perception. If you see yourself as a small business, then that's what you are. I don't like the term small business. Um, I may be a solopreneur, but I'm a big business because I have a big mind, big thoughts, big mentality, and a big plan. And that's just the way it should be. And your business... Nobody needs to know you're one person if you're a solopreneur. When you set up your systems and you send out thank yous and you send out responses and you return calls, they don't need to know that you're one person. Let me tell you guys, I told you guys that right now I manage 13 other businesses. Notice what I said. I manage 13 other businesses. Guess what? I am the one that's the secretary. I'm my own administrative assistant. I do everything, but nobody in my company would know that. None of my clients realize it's just me because I handle everything systematically and I do it with ease. Now, I just, let me back up. I just hired a personal assistant because now it's getting to be where I can't handle all the workload myself. Um, but I'm very good at delegating. And that's the next thing I want to talk about, delegating to dominate in your business industry. This is something it took a while for me to learn, but it also took growing for me to get to that stage. 
You have to be able to delegate tasks. You can't wear 50 different hats. You can't be the janitor. You can't be the driver. You can't be the, the receptionist. You can't be the cook. You can't be the trainer. You can't be the menu planner, the nutritionist. You can't do everything and expect success. That may work for a little time, but if you expect to grow, you're going to have to get a team. And what type of team do we want around us? A positive team. You want the people who can duplicate the systems that you've already put in place. Basically, you want people who can follow the leader. And who's the leader? You are. Okay? So let me give you guys a few ways that you can get in touch with me. You can find me across social media at Boss Lady on Fire. You can find me on my website at www.tanyaedwards.com. On my website, I have a few um, tools that I use daily in my business. And those are under a tab called $10 or less because I believe that as entrepreneurs, we're growing our businesses. I don't want to gouge your eyes out, but I also have some that are up there for other clients. Um, and also, you can find me. I'm hosting a webinar on March 23rd. I will be sending out information for that and posting it on my website at tanyaedwards.com. That webinar is called from business formation to 100K plus. And that means from the very start of your business, forming your business, all the way to developing a company over $100,000. So if you're interested in that, we're gonna talk about basically structuring your business and what's the proper structure for your business. We're going to discuss getting your EIN and developing business credit, which is something of so many of us really need. Um, in addition to our personal credit, and that's a whole nother thing I do, a whole nother scope. But we're going to dis discuss gaining business credit and how to properly set up your business so you could be in a position to qualify for business credit. And so many other topics are going to be covered in that webinar. I really appreciate you guys. Share the scope even after you watch the scope. Share it with your friends and go ahead and invite other entrepreneurs. Thank you so much for watching and have a bossy night and a bossy day tomorrow. I guess it's not stopping. You're welcome if you can still see me. Let me figure out how to stop it.